everyone. Welcome back to another Keto Mukbang. Today we're doing lunch. We're having chicken salad, Quest chips, and a sugar-free Jello parfait. everyone how's everyone doing so good to see all of you today I am doing a lunch a keto lunch so I won't be doing a movie today which I don't do you know in the afternoons like that I like to do my movies in the evening but let me tell you what I'm having for my keto lunch it is chicken salad from a can I've got um, well chicken from a can in water and I have added mayo to it and I did a green onion now I did the whole can mixed it all up and put the whole onion in, but I'm only eating half the can. So it would only be a half a carb just for the chicken salad. Be a half a carb and then two carbs in the Quest chips. And I've showed you guys those before. I love the barbecue flavored ones. This is the ones I get. I get them from the vitamin store or Walmart has them. They are two net carb. And they have 21 grams of protein. So that's awesome. And then I am having a sugar-free Jello Parfait. I get these from Walmart too. These are great because if you run out of whipped cream, They've already got the cream on it, and I love the way these taste. They're nice and stiff inside of there, just like the Jello. The cream is stiff too, so I like that. And um, if you want to, though, you can add the whipped cream still on top if you want to, because these are only one carb. So if you added two tablespoons of whipped cream, it would only be one more carb, so it'd be two carbs for this. I'm just gonna have it plain today. But my total carb count here then would be one, two, three, and a half. Three and a half carbs, plus another half here, because I'm only gonna drink half of this with my lunch. So I have got four carbs, a four carb lunch. Come on, can't beat that, right? I am having the fruit punch one. So what's everybody else eating with me today? Are you guys doing low carb or what are you having? <laughs> Still interested to know, even though I don't eat like that, but just curious what you guys are eating or you're you keto people out there, what are you guys having? Mm. That's what I love these chips for. Because when you have tuna salad or chicken salad or egg salad, all are okay on keto. All are pretty much zero carb because uh, egg salad is just eggs, mustard, and mayo. And you can add if you want the onion or something in it. But if you don't, then, of course, your eggs are only one carb for two eggs. Um, so that'd be low. Chicken doesn't have, <clears throat> sorry, chicken in a can doesn't have any carb. I have only a little bit of carb because of the onion. And then, of course, tuna wouldn't have any carb either. So I'd love to use these chips because they're only two net carbs. And so I'm eating a very low carb lunch. which is how, you know, they say to do it more towards the end of the evening, eat your lower carb, but I still only keep my carb at six anyways. I never go over six. If I do, it's by one, so. Mm. Look at the barbecue stuff on there. Mm. So yummy. Yeah, I love to use these chips for that. It's like we have our um, cracker. You know, a lot of people like to eat, you know, tuna or chicken or whatever with a cracker. So it's like we have a cracker. But yeah, I told you guys I would offer you lunch ideas too because I'm doing all these dinner ideas. And of course, everything I'm offering can be eaten for lunch but or breakfast. But um, I, you know, well, more for lunch. But I wanted to offer some of my lunches with you guys. I My lunch is my breakfast slash lunch. So sometimes it's going to be stuff like this. Sometimes it's going to be eggs and bacon, eggs and sausage, eggs and turkey bacon, um, egg salad. It's going to be different stuff like that. So because it's basically my breakfast or it's going to be the pancake and sausage, uh, pancake and bacon, things like that. Mm. And the pancake, if you don't know, if you're new to my channel, is my keto pancake. 
If you haven't seen that, just go back to some of my videos. If you go into my, um, my, uh, what's it called? Um, my gosh, boy, I just drew a blank here. I'll think of it. <laughs> I can't believe it. I can't think of that. Well, on YouTube, where we can store our videos. I can't think of the name right now. But if you go into there, you will see um, all my videos, you know, listed or whatever names. It would be under the keto mukbangs and then just look for the pancake one. playlist. There it is. <laughs> Go into my playlist and look up keto style mukbangs and you'll find the, the keto pancake in there. Mm. Now you can have up to six in one sitting of carb. So even though I got four here, I could have added two more. I could have added a little bit of cheese into this um, chicken salad, you know, cubed up some cheese, or I could put some uh, whipped cream on here and a little bit of nuts. That would give it the rest of the two carbs. So one more, uh, two more tablespoons of whipped cream would have been one more carb. So now we'd be at five. And then if I added the nuts on it, the one serving of nuts of like walnuts or pecan, because they're the lowest, then I would have had one more carb there. That would have been six carbs in. So, so if I truly wanted, I still can. And it actually sounds pretty good. I don't normally eat, um, you know, my, my des uh, dessert like that or whatever, which it's sugar-free jello, so who cares? But um, I usually just do my meals like this without, you know, if I do a parfait or a jello like that or whatever, it's usually in the evening. Um, but I'm just craving something sweet because it's that time of the month for me, so I really wanted something sweet. Can't go wrong with sugar-free jello parfaits. And like I said, they're just neat. See, it's all hard in there. And like I said, it's so awesome if you just want to add your whipped cream on top and a little bit of nuts, you can do that. And I just might. <laughs> the more I'm talking about it, the more I want it. <laughs> So I hope everybody is enjoying these videos. I know I say that a lot, but it is my pleasure to be helping out as many people as I can. I enjoy doing that. I enjoy helping others get healthy. And I always ask if you share the channel around, um, <coughs> excuse me, with people that you know that want to get healthy or whatever, share it around because it definitely does help me help others get healthy then. And I know my keto. I've been doing keto for... Two years and three months. So I know my keto. It is a, a diet you need to study and you need to learn. I have taught you guys a lot. I had to learn it too. My brother taught me a lot. Um, there's things you learn as you go along. Things that are important. Um, I know right here I do not have a serving of veggies. I always tell you to have a serving of veggies, but I already ate that. I did that earlier so I wouldn't use up too many carbs because together it would have been more carb. Um, I had my broccoli with a little bit of ranch on it that way. Otherwise, I would have went over six. So a couple hours ago, I had my broccoli with ranch. Always make sure you guys do that because it's important. Get your servings of veggies in. And of course, I will have more servings tonight for dinner. So if you can't squeeze it into your dinner or your lunch or your breakfast, then squeeze it throughout. If it's going to go over carb, then just put it in between. You just want to go, you know, a few hours without, you know, once you eat the carb, go a few hours before you eat again. I only do two meals a day and a small snack. So, so my chicken here is a canned chicken. Um, you can do fresh chicken, you know, cube or, uh, 
break it up and everything or cut it up and everything and then put mayo on it. You could do that. I've got it in a can here. I don't always do that, but I got it in a can here. It's just in water. And um, I rinse mine under hot water. I take it out of the can. Even though it's in water, I take it out of the can and I rinse it in hot water to get any more of the, you know, the yuckiness in the can or whatever off of it and everything. And it gets most, like, all the grease and everything off from being in a can. So, much better that way. Now, this is processed. We can do processed food. This is processed meat, obviously, because it's in a can. But once in a while, it's not going to hurt, just like we do tuna, so... I knew I wouldn't be able to eat that whole can because I'm already getting full. You get very full on this diet because everything's protein. I mean, all the protein I have here, I got 21 grams in the chips and in the chicken here, I probably got another 20 or 30. So I've got like 40 some, you know, grams of uh, protein here. And then for dinner, I'll have around the same because I do about 70 to 80 grams for my weight. Actually, 65 to 75 grams for my weight. It's always half your body weight. So I weigh 135, so it'll be around 70 grams a day. In the beginning, though, I had to eat a lot more protein because it's half your body weight. So when I started the diet at 280 something, yeah, I had to eat over 100 grams a day. And I didn't realize I needed to. I wasn't getting enough protein. So I was getting some hair loss. And I had, wasn't even on the keto yet. I was doing a different diet. But even on the keto, I hear people say, I'm losing hair. Well, that's why. Because we are lowering our calories. We're in a calorie deficit, which means we're not eating as much protein. And it's hard to get a lot of protein in when you have to eat, eat that much, like over 100 grams. So I tell people what you do then is get a protein shake a low carb protein shake from Walmart. They only have one brand, as far as I know, that is low carb. All the rest is really high carb, so you need to look for the, the one that is very low carb. And do that, or the muscle milks are really low carb. Do those or whatever to get your extra protein, because it's so hard to eat all that meat when you have to eat over 100 grams a day. Unless you're eating three meals a day. I only eat two, so it's really hard to get in. Some people only do one meal a day, so it's really hard to get your protein in, and it's very important. So do some shakes then throughout the day. But remembering, keep your carb at 20 carbs a day. Don't go over. So calculate out what you're eating for the day. Know what you're having for the day or whatever, basically. And then if you have room for the shake, because usually the shakes are 1 to 3 grams, depending on if you have the muscle milk. Some of the muscle milks are 1 to 2, um, the pre-made ones. And then the ones you, you make, the muscle milk, or the protein shakes you would make yourself with almond, unsweetened almond milk. Unsweetened vanilla almond milk is the one I do. Um, you would uh, add in a scoop of that, and that's usually around three carbs. So, and then your almond milk is a carb, or half a carb. So, make sure you know that when you're having your protein shake, that right there is going to be three and a half carbs. So, sorry, everybody. <laughs> How's my alarm going off? That's my heart meds. <laughs> Yep, I take heart meds because I have a heart condition, but, and look, I can do this diet, and I'm healthy, and I'm actually only down to two heart meds a day. I used to take, in the very beginning, I used to take like 14 of them when I first developed my heart condition back when I was 22, um, and then I went down to about nine of them after about a year, but when I started the keto, I'm down to two. I take two pills for my heart, that's it. Lincinopril and Corig, which is a beta blocker. And they're very low dose. I'm on a very low dose, but I was on a very high dose of those and I'm on a very low dose. So this diet really made a difference because I've dieted before in my life. One time I had lost over a hundred pounds and I never was reduced off of any meds. This is the first one. That's why I keep telling people that people get scared of being a higher fat diet. I did a low, low fat diet and I never got off any meds. I did this one. I am 20 years older now, and I'm off all my heart meds except for two. And the doctor just said, those two are one, no matter what I would be on for life because they are protecting the heart. And he doesn't want to take those away from me, even though the dose is so low. 
He doesn't want to take those away because he thinks that my hair could turn around without those because, of course, it doesn't matter how good you eat, how healthy you are. I mean, there's skinny people out there that have heart problems. So it has nothing to do with that. I just, I have a bad heart, so. Sorry. I have postpartum cardiomyopathy. If you'd like to know what that is, that's after I had my kid, I developed a heart condition from the pregnancy. And that is an enlarged, it was an enlarged heart. And um, it wasn't functioning right. Like my heart doesn't function like your guys's does. In the beginning, it was only functioning at 8%, but I'm all the way up to around 45%, which is really good. But basically, I've stayed this way for, for so many years. This diet got me up higher. I was like around 35. Got me up higher from losing all the weight I lost and from doing this diet. So I did go up higher. But basically, he said that I will live out my life with my heart around there because it's just not getting any stronger. Maybe I could strengthen it a little bit with some exercise because the heart is a muscle. So if I could get some more, I do some exercise, but if I could do a little bit more exercise, maybe that would make a difference. So here's the jello. See how it, everything is just jello. <laughs> but it, the cream is the parfait part. Mm. So yummy. So then you don't gotta go out and get the cream too because it's right there for you. And then it already gives you a carb. So. Um, I get these at Walmart. You get one, two, three, four, five, six, eight of them. You get two red, or four red, two orange, two green, and they're two fifty. So not a bad price. And I love these ones. I really do. I love these jellos. This one here tastes like oranges and cream. Um, pizza or. Like a dreamsicle, oranges and cream, that's what it is. Tastes like a dreamsicle. If you remember dreamsicles. I'm old, I know. <laughs> mm. So yummy. Sometimes in the evening when I'm eating these, I'll just play around with it in my mouth. Like break it apart and suck off the parfait part. <laughs> We're always kids at heart, right? <laughs> So I started my toe designs and I've had a few, people, a few people tell me they really enjoy that. I will be doing that now until the fall. So now you're going to get Monday, Wednesday, and Friday will be the nail design, the toe design, and then the outfit to match. And then on Tuesdays and Thursdays and Saturdays will be mukbangs for you guys or some kind of video. I'm going to be doing updating a keto haul. I've got a keto haul and everybody loves that. I've gotten so many views in that one. But I want to do an updated version of one because there's so much more I've learned since then. And I want to share that with you guys. So I'm going to do a keto haul here pretty soon. Grocery haul. So hope you guys will enjoy that. But I am done. So there is an idea for you guys for your lunch. Um, you could also have that for dinner. But there's an idea for your lunch. I hope you will definitely try that out. And continue doing what you're doing. If you're doing the keto diet or doing low carb, I congratulate all of you. It's the best way to go. So continue working hard on that. And I'm always here if you guys need help. Thanks a lot for watching. Take care, everyone, and God bless. <laughs>